think there's probably about three or four hundred of them around town now. Maybe more, I kind of lost count. That's the sound of prints crinkling, <laughs> which is the soundtrack of my life. These are the prints that we're putting up. For these bigger sizes, you have to do them in pieces. Project Spread Hope is something that kind of came up at the beginning of the pandemic. The work that I was putting up around town at that time didn't really feel right for this crazy moment in time we were having. And so I want to create a print that helps people feel a little bit better. My name is Coco Bayer. And then the medium that I work in is often called wheat pasting, but I call it pasting. So I'm just gonna put some glue on this wall and then just stick some paper to it. So I basically started putting them up around town and then I just put out a, a request for spots and said, you know, anyone who has a uh, boarded over window or any high visibility spot, let me know and we'll come put it up. And it's just been cruising along ever since. This particular color scheme, which I call pink lemonade, is, um, is one that shows up a lot in my work. And I just have always loved how bright it is and how uplifting it is. During the, the height of the lockdown, I was printing over the thousand square feet of color printing every week. Initially, you know, I just put them out at my own expense and the Botanic Gardens tracked me down. That kind of opened up the floodgates. We asked people if, if they ask if they can support it, we certainly take donations for our print fund. It was really heartening for me that all the people who've like reached out to support it and help it along, and now it's been spreading out to other cities. The actual putting them up is my favorite part of the whole process. They're really not done till I photograph them, so that's what I'm gonna do right now is take a couple pictures. I always take too many pictures. So that's really all the project has been. It's just this really simple thing of, you know, just trying to spread this super simple message of hope, just trying to make people feel a little bit better about this crazy situation that we're in.